of you are going to be seriously grossed out right now as my friend Sabrina Rodriguez has a big handful of tarantula. Yes, and it's an Arizona blonde, correct? That's correct. All right, Arizona blonde and a very special segment. We have Dr. Jill in studio, and we're talking about having a tarantula as a pet. Yeah, what a great pet. Mm -hmm. These guys last somewhere between five to 40 years, if mm. you can believe it. A long time. Wow. And easy. Look at this little area that she lives in. Just a little, like, shoe box or a cookie box, mm -hmm. actually, with an ashtray. Great okay. college student pet, right? <laughs> and a little shelter. And this is like a coconut debris on the bottom. And she eats one cricket a week. Oh, really? So yeah. not that expensive in terms of taking care of. And we have to point out, well, i got to make the mention, California Bug Club is the one who is bringing in this lovely... Arizona blonde in this morning. Yes, this is blondie, by blondie. the way. Blondie. The blondie, the Arizona blonde. So what do people need to keep in mind before they maybe commit to getting a tarantula as a pet? Well, you know, they're great because when you leave, you can go for several weeks. You don't have to worry about feeding them, mm -hmm. right? But you do need to make sure it is a living creature. So you want to make sure to, to take care of it, handle it properly, see mm -hmm. how gentle it is. If you drop them, they will literally explode. So oh. we want to make sure, this is their abdomen here, uh -huh. and it's an exoskeleton. So you want to make sure to handle them properly, don't drop them. Hydration is an issue with them. Uh -huh. And, you know, years ago, we used to see those. I worked in Vegas. People would have them as pets, and they would drop them, and we'd have to suture them back <gasps> up. Really? Now we have this great skin glue. Uh -huh. Believe it or not, we can glue them back together with skin glue. Really? But like glue their legs back on? Uh, no, their abdomen, actually. Oh. They, they split sometimes, so we'll glue them back together. Okay. But, yeah, so take your, taking your tarantula pet, not very common. They really are low maintenance. They have very little medical, if any, issues at all. Mm -hmm. And they're wonderful. They're quiet. They're easy. Um, they live a long time. And Bug Club is great, you know, if you're wanting to investigate that. Elk Grove Library at 7 p.m. on mm -hmm. Saturday evening. People can come down and check out different types of bugs as well. And you have some other bottles here as well. Anything else to mention? You know, they are low maintenance. I like to recommend, of course, because I always like hol holistic medicine. They make, uh, the standard process makes a really interesting um, tablet for dogs. And you could put this in their cage. They can kind of munch on it. It's a whole oh. body support. Mm -hmm. Who would ever think? And then, of course, I always like my rose water mist. I think it's great because it has vitamin C in it. Mm -hmm. And DMG, another great um, ad additive to the water for immune system. Uh, supplementation can also be helpful but you don't have to do any of those things either because they're just so low maintenance so easy uh, you know Elena here has over 20 she said because she buys a bag of crickets and she doesn't want them to go to waste so she feeds all of her tarantulas Aww. and utilizes all the crickets very good and I have to say yes blondie the Arizona blonde has been very good so Elena thank you so much for bringing her in and yes if you are looking and in the market for a tarantula I mean they may look scary they're really nice at least this one is I know that much <laughs> Go, uh, go check out the Bug Club meeting tomorrow night, 7 p.m., Elk Grove Library, uh, CaliforniaBugClub.com. I have to ask Dr. Jill. Dr. Jill, has anybody, Jill, has anybody ever brought you a tarantula and said, I think my spider is sick? They have. Really? Yeah, I know, hard to believe. <laughs> How can you tell? Uh, they're dehydrated looking. Okay. Usually there's a water issue. <laughs> okay. All right. Why? Well, I was spraying so the so rose water on your spider. Uh, if you want to schedule an appointment with Dr. Jill, any animal will do. Check out our website, drjill.com with a Y, J-Y-L, or give her a call. The number is on your screen, 916-989-0738.